the 14th state conference of Andhra Pradesh Mahila Samakya is going on uh, from yesterday and it will conclude uh, tomorrow. And in these three days we are discussing about uh, the socio-political and economic situation in our country because it is uh, these uh, issues affects the lives of women and children. So as, as a women organization it is our responsibility to examine how the policies of the government have affected uh, the women of this country and when we discuss we started the preliminary discussions now and uh, uh, everyone feels that the uh, the government at center where the Prime Minister Narendra Modi is actually betrayed the women of this country during uh, the last uh, uh, almost five years uh, he promised many things he promised um, a, a control on violence against women but during these five years we have witnessed that uh, even for a uh, rapist the re uh, national flag is used in support of the rapist and he kept quiet and he did not take any uh, interest or uh, did not allow uh, budgetary uh, allocation for the implementation of the existing legislations and on economic uh, uh, aspect our side we discussed and uh, everyone all the delegates felt that uh, his policy of an uh, demonetization actually snatched away the uh, employment which is the women had in their hand and they become unemployed and uh, 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 the political empowerment he, he is always saying about empowerment of women but for the last four and a half years he never uttered a single word on women reservation he is the only prime minister who did not say anything about that bill is mr modi and uh, we uh, uh, understand that he betrayed it is our firm opinion that Mr. Modi betrayed the women of this country, whether they are uh, uh, farm, farming women, whether they are the student, uh, girl students, or the entire women of this country are betrayed by the Prime Minister.